So I want to explain to you why I think that we may have reached a, uh, a top here. And I did make a video yesterday at like very <laughs> late, like 3 a, a, a. m. Uh, but if you watch back here, right, in uh, April, you can see the date, April, it said the cryptocurrency market values now $2 trillion for the first time as Ethereum hits a record, a record high. So what does that mean? Well, if we look back here, uh, April was right here. That's where the cycle top was, okay? So you look here, April, right, April 2. And now we look here and it says that's about April 2 is about right here. So very close to the PI cycle top, which hits a 2 trillion market cap. And now when we look at the current um, market cap size of the crypto, also now, as of today, $2.04 trillion. So now Bitcoin is only 47,000, but we're already reached the total market cap of $2 trillion. Okay. So now everybody thinks Bitcoin's going to go to 100,000 and, you know, Ethereum's going to go to, you know, 8,000. These all sound like great numbers. And, you know, we're seeing massive gains and all kinds of promise like that. But the question is, where's the extra? Let's say that we predict a four million, a four trillion, rather four trillion market cap size. Where's the money going to come from? OK, because once we reach two trillion, we're talking now, what, just a few months ago, three. Well, let's look exactly to find out. We're looking at exactly 126 days ago. We were we maxed out a two trillion dollars market cap, and now we're back at a two trillion two trillion dollars market cap again. So where's the new money going to come from to grow the Bitcoin to massive amount? And as the Bitcoin grows, so is the uh, altcoins, right? And seeing amazing gains. But where's the new money going to come from? And so obviously we have to look that if it's possible, obviously we need new users, new money coming in, new people buying altcoins, Bitcoin and like so on. And I'm sure there are. So in fact, we can see the growth over time, right? Like in April 2020, we were 52 and now we're at 75. So that's a huge, huge growth. That's 25 million more users in in one year right from august till august 2021 but don't forget in april we were already right at two trillion dollars so we grown from 70 million users to 75 million here according to blockchain um that's only five million more users are these five million users and i don't know if that measures all the new like user but the point is it's at least an indication that from april right five million new users according to this graph and the growth the percentage growth is not that much in fact if we do the mats right we can divide right um well uh 70 divided by 75 right times 100 so it's like a seven percent growth from april right from april uh 70 to 75 is like a seven percent grown of new users that's pretty good but i don't think that's going to justify a four trillion dollar market cap because in order for us to start seeing huge gains in all of those we would probably need to go to four trillion dollars and eventually to 10 but i don't think that there's enough users to justify those kind of prices I think for us to grow to that, it would take more time. Maybe next year we could expect a four trillion dollars. So I think that if I mean I'm not sure my fact is right. I just just started to look at this and doing some like thinking about it. Like, okay, so we look at there. We is it this possible that this is the 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 top here right here? And we're going to reverse back down. Well, it certainly makes sense with the numbers, with the math, because for me, I'm, I'm very logical. Like I need to use mathematics to make sense of things. And I don't know. I have all the facts. I would like to hear somebody else argue this point with me and say, no, no, no. The new money is going to come from, you know, institutions are going to pump one trillion dollar into the next three months. Oh, OK. Um, how did you come up with that number? I'd like to know that. But, you know, or, you know, where the 
the new user are more rich. I don't know. I mean, I'd like to see the mat, you know, before I say, okay, I'm going, I'm going to invest my money right at the top here and risk that we're going to, that we're not going to go down. <laughs> okay. Um, it just, that seemed like a lot of risk to me, given that the fact that, you know, April we reached, we reached this cycle top here. That's when it was. And then we went down, right? because there was no more money. <laughs> I mean, there was no more people putting money into crypto, right? That, that's it, like two trillion seems to be the market cap. And that's it, and then, then we go down and then we're already at two trillion dollar, even though we're, why is that? Because people are buying altcoins, they're, they're not buying Bitcoin. You see, back in those days when uh, the site, when it was two trillion dollar here and the Bitcoin was 65,000, there was, people were buying more Bitcoin. So what it means now is that there's still the same amount of money, but people are not buying Bitcoin, they're buying altcoins. But that's not, that. that's why, why is that important? Because that's the same money. What it means is people have learned that, hey, why am I buying Bitcoin? I might as well buy altcoins. So now it's deceiving because they say, hey, you know, we're gonna go back to the all the all time high. Well, is that true? because it seemed that if we grow another 36%, we probably would need to add another trillion dollars based on what's going on right now. Where is this extra trillion dollar going to come from? That's my question. I'm not saying I have the answer. I'm saying it's just a question. And I don't see that the new users are being added. So I don't know. This is questionable. Like, is it is it that we reach the top here and then we're going to go back down and we're going to do exactly, we're going to have to do this. And it might be necessary that we do that and then go down to 20,000 and then start working our way back up. And what that would give us is the gift of time. It would give us more time for new users, new money to be added over time. Because I don't think that we have enough money to keep growing. That would be my, uh, my guesstimate, my assumption my uh, my belief based on what I see. I just don't see that I can back up a belief that, yep, we're going up, we're gonna to be to $4 trillion within the next three months. I just don't see that. I'm not saying it's impossible. I just don't see it. So anyway, it's more of a question. What do you think? And you know, maybe put a comment, let me know your thought. Do you really think we're gonna add an extra trillion dollars to the market? And where's the money gonna come from? Let me know your thoughts.